For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. This is Pastor Cornelius Haruna with the mandate of raising spiritual giants who will lighten their world. Remain blessed as you encounter God's undiluted word for the restoration of your destiny. Now the word. Christ will pray. Amen. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you. Lift up a voice and say, Father, by your word. Father, by your word. No, understand, Jesus is the word. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Say, Father, by your word. Father, by your word. By your word. In this year 2019. In this year 2019. Make my destiny. Make my Lift destiny. up your voice and pray. in the name of Jesus Christ we pray we are going to pray Lord this year 2019 cause my life to reflect your word in every aspect cause what my life to reflect your word in every aspect lift up your voice and pray in this year 2019 cause my life to reflect your word in every aspect that when people see me they understand the practicality of the word father let my life reflect your word in every aspect in every aspect spiritually maritally academically history wise career wise relationship wise Father, in every single aspect of my life, let it reflect your word. Let it reflect your word. Let it reflect your word. Let Let my life reflect your word. Let my life reflect your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Ever true, changing me, changing you. We have come with open hands, all as the ancient world in front. Was 
shall wash, he shall wash, ever true, changing me, and changing you. Is and was ever to change in me and change in you. We have come with open hearts, only the ancient seated. I welcome us to this eighth day on this mountain of prayer and fasting. The Bible said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. So I assure you, you have not sought him in vain. I'm sure you have begun to see great things already happening in your life, divine interventions and the blessings of God. You will see greater things this week. In Isaiah chapter 40, and beginning from verse 29, he said, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increased strength. Even the youth shall fall, and the young men shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Any time you are beginning to faint and get tired and get weary and lose strength. It is a symptom of lack of waiting on God. It is just trying to show you that you have not created time to be with God. Because they go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. Hallelujah. So we are waiting on God to be strengthened, not to be weakened. Nobody need to look at your face and know that you are fasting. Otherwise, you are not fasting. No, in those days, in Bible study, they used to ask questions. Somebody would lift up the hand. Bible, I say, Sir, I have a question. Sir. Am I supposed to brush my teeth during fasting? Amen. As simple as it seems, it is a revelation of a very bad perspective of what people have about fasting. Amen. And what's that perspective? That's a pursuit of religion. Say if I cry, my fasting has, is uh, it, it, the fasting has, is broke. It is already broken. Meanwhile, while worshiping God, we cry. <laughs> Amen. We shed tears worshiping God in the course of fasting. That doesn't stop any fasting. Amen. That's why I said to you, any fasting you are doing, you are not praying, you are not studying the Bible, you are wasting time. Go and eat food. It is the study, the prayers, the worship that makes the fasting valid. Hallelujah. Because actually what we are doing is we are taking our time to spending more time with God. So we are putting away many things in order to make the time we are spending with God effective. Like I said, if you say you want to stay with God and you eat in the morning, eat in the afternoon, eat in the evening, and you say you want to concentrate, you might be distracted. Number one, the food in your stomach might make you drowsy and that will cause you to sleep. Number two, you might need to go to the toilet to urinate because you are full, so you need to empty. Frequently. Amen. And number three, there is this distraction that comes Amen. You are just excited. It's just big. So your mind is just dreaming about everything. 
And you are not able to concentrate to study one thing. Hallelujah. So there is something about concentration being empty. Anytime you desire to concentrate, there is a need to be empty to some level. Even if it's not all the time you say you are going on drugs. But there are times that you are not even fasting, but for the sake of concentration, you just eat. So you can concentrate and tackle something before you eat food. That is how champions live their lives. You cannot be addicted to food and carry power. You cannot be a person that don't have the control over food. Now any time you see food, your body begins to vibrate, even though you just finished eating now. That granite, it must be eaten. That banana, I must not miss out. What? Bread, I must. Say, ah! What is that? But you just say, no, there is space for it. Amen. We were going to somewhere yesterday, and we saw a young lady at the fitness station, drinking what she does not want. The thing was like a concussion. What is this thing for? Say, Jedi, Jedi. Sir, young lady, be careful. What you are taking, say, is true, sir. Be careful. Just see them telling things around, and because it looks like something that can bought, and maybe something that somebody can buy for you, you don't need to spend your money, you are ready to eat it. No ability to say. When we're doing our believers, I'm um, sorry, our um, school of ministry, the city of just one of the, uh, I think my LCC or LDC, there was this man in my class that had money, you know, who were students, but there are some men who had money, you know, they are working. So during the break, he, he liked me so much because in the class, I'm quiet, I sat in front, I get to we are just in touch. So during the break, he would take myself and some, that, say, let's go and eat, let's go and eat, let's go and eat, let's go and eat. He wants to feed everybody. I, I didn't have money to eat. And this was an opportunity to eat. But throughout all my times of Bible school, every single day of it, I fasted. I never ate till in the evening, every day. See, LCC, LDC, the three. So with that opportunity, say, come, I say, no, sorry, sir, I can't. I can't take anything now. So about, about tomorrow, I'm, I can't. So why others are being eating during the break time, and we go to one corner in an empty ground on part of the church land and sit down there and open the lessons that have been taught and begin to pray them in. Amen. It makes a difference. Praise the living God. We must have the ability to know how to wait upon the Lord. Therefore, the, on the movie, you, you, you move from the room. You move from the sitting room and go to the bedroom. Or you move and go out. Why? Because this is not time for movie. Amen? It's simply not time for movie. It's not time for it. It's what you know. So you must be selective in what you must write that you corrupt your system. But even Christian movies, there's a time not to watch it. Many of us don't understand. Say, oh, it's Mount Zion. Oh, it's American movie. There is a time that it is not time for movie. Can I shock you? There is a time that is not time of watching Christian message on television. Hello? Yes. There is a time that is not time for watching Christian message on TV. You, what you need at that time is a personal... You, you, you need to sit down with the Bible. You know, many times when we become lazy, we want others to do the study for us and teach us. So we sit down on the TV or put message and then we are just listening to it and we think that that is all. There is a time for that. That is, that is meant to encourage us to, to, to impact us with dimensions of graces that we don't have. But that cannot take the place of personally sitting down to pray and to worship and to study the scriptures. Hallelujah. So there are times I come to and say, turn on the TV. It's not, there's, it's, message. it's not time for that now. There are times you are just moving about, the phone is just shouting, worship, worship, worship. And you just deceive yourself that throughout the day you are worshiping God. It's phone that is worshiping. I said, please turn this thing off. Now, just turn it off and spend time, you yourself, bringing forth worship from the depth of your being. What I do many times is, I use these ones to start the journey. 
You understand? Turn on the, 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 um, the phone or whatever. And then the worship is going on. I'm connecting. If it's prayer, it's connecting. But a point comes, I put it off. Amen. And I flow from there with God. But by the time that becomes your own norm every day, just that's all. Study for where have you studied two chapters today? No, one chapter, no, one verse, no, personally, no. Uh, message unko have listened to three. Tomorrow unko have listened to three. Next one have listened to four. Have you sat down to study and to write? No. Amen. You cannot maximize your season of prayer and fasting like that. Hello. But I told you, I'm just showing you technicality. That will help to access the world. Remember a time in my life I needed to hear God's voice so badly. But I missed something. Because I was looking for confirmation from men. So the next thing I'm looking for the next message to play. So that at least why the man, he will say something. will address my situation and say, I'll say yes this is God speaking. And I did that for a time. One day God spoke to me. He said what are you doing? I said, I want confirmation. I will not give you any confirmation. Anyone, you won't get one. Because you settle down with me personally, I will tell you what to do. Amen. I asked for forgiveness and push that away. And still we go on that one week. I had several word encounters. And I said, Lord, okay, you have given me encounters. And I also now listen for confirmation. I say, no, I, for the sake of your growth, I will not give you any confirmation from anybody. Get it. And you so you maximize the word of God by what personal study are we listening to me by what hello are you in church this evening how do we maximize the word of God personal study personal sir. personal now I don't expect any one of us after this 21 days prayer and fasting that you don't have a notebook and a pen where you write down the things that God said to you from his word on daily basis amen personal study I can tell you by experience that you cannot you cannot substitute it for any other thing. Personal study. At times, worship is in the atmosphere, prayer is in the atmosphere for an hour. And yet, inside of me, I am not okay. There is something is okay. Then I reach for my Bible and pick it. So one verse, two verses, before you know what's happening, my spirit is revived. Why? Because there is the word for the hour. Amen. And the word for the hour might not be the one on radio at that time. Might not be the one on television. It might be the one that God wants you to settle down with him. So the season of prayer and fasting is a season to separate for personal study. For personal what? Personal study. What happens when you do that? First Timothy 4 and verse 15. Hallelujah. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly, completely to them. That thy profiting may appear to all. Your profiting will appear to how many? To all. So, personal studies of scriptures has a lot of profitings attached to it. There is a difference between someone who is just jumping from place. You know, there are some ministers who all they do is listen to messages of fathers, brothers, everybody. Like I said, they are not wrong, but they have their time. All right. And when they listen to such, that is all that they have. No personal revelation apart from the one from messages. And so when such people stand to do anything, you see the evidence that this one has not been thoroughly dipped in the world. But anyone that gives time personally on the world, the Bible says is profiting we appear to all. You know how to be profitable without announcing yourself? Personal story. Personal. You will not need to announce yourself. Praise God. The depth of what is in you will announce you. The death of it, thy profiting will be what will appear to all. Your profiting will appear to all. I've seen some people are very quiet. Nobody knew that I had anything. They are just there. Then one day, somebody pointed at them and said, Brother, can you answer this question during Bible study? Can you answer this question? Please make a contribution. 
And the guy stood up quite been hiding so that nobody would find him out. But now he's, he's trying to fake it. Whether, and, but even the fakeness of what he's saying carries power. And people say, what? This person has been here. Okay. Amen. What happened? The depth of his personal studies announced him. Praise God. Thy profiting will appear to all. Look at the next verse. I'm com- I'll come back by verse 16. He now said, take heed to yourself. Hello, brethren. Take heed to who? Take heed to who? So when you are studying the word, who are you taking it? Yourself. Please, you need to understand this. That when I am waiting on the Lord, when I'm studying the scriptures, I'm studying it for my own self, first of all. For my edification, first of all. For my growth, first of all. For my deliverance, first of all. One of the things that we, some of us that are pastors, one of the things we have to deal with consistently, discipline ourselves to deal with, is avoiding the trap of studying to preach. Amen. Where every sentence that comes, somebody begins to picture how it will look like when it is coming out as a message. By the time a person gets to that point, it's on the verge of collapse. Amen. But you study the word for personal edification, for personal growth. Take it to yourself. And unto the doctrine, the doctrine means the teachings of the word. Amen. Continue in them. For in doing this, you shall save yourself first and them dead that hear you. Do you see that? So you study the word. You continue in it. You keep studying it. Personally, you keep applying the lessons to your life. You keep obeying the word of God. He said, when you do that, people that come around you, they will be saved. Amen. And, and, and yourself, you'll be saved first. And people that come around you, what? Will be saved. While I was praying, worshipping, and then studying the scripture this afternoon, somebody called my line, and I picked the phone. I didn't see, I, I saw his name. I carried the phone, I saw the name, but I couldn't pick the call because of what I was doing. And then, on that five seconds after the thing finished ringing, I, I was in the realm of the spirit. And, I, and, and in the realm of the spirit, the call came again from that line. And, and I picked it up in the realm of the spirit, and somebody said to me, I said, Somebody was there. I said, no, who is it? where is the owner of this phone? I said, it's, he has been taken to the mortuary. He is no more. And I said, what do you mean? What happened? He said, accident around the Kuba. Accident. He has been taken to the mortuary. I said, no, it is not possible. Then the vision cleared up. You see, in the midst of studying for myself, somebody else profited from it. And immediately I picked the phone and I called him back. I said, Hello. He said, I was trying to tell you something. I said, yes. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of death on your life. Possible when you return from work, try to see me today. To be anointed. Amen. But what I was doing was studying for myself. What was I seeing? What did God show me? Look at it. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. God was showing to me what he's going to do in my life. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Alright, God said, let us make my image after our likeness. Let them have dominion and all that. I won't share what I have from there. Verse 27. Verse 27. So God created mine his own image. In the image of God created him. Male and male created him then. Verse 28. Now my emphasis. And God blessed them. And he said to them, number one, be fruitful. Have the capacity to reproduce. Then number two, from fruitfulness, enter into multiplication. Then number three, as you multiply, you do what you replenish the earth. That is, you spread. And the more you spread, the more lands are subdued. And the more lands are subdued, the more it reveals your nature of dominion. So God was saying to me, and I'm giving you my, the personal message that was given to me, that son, as long as the 
blessing that I have released upon you is true, then you are fruitful. But this year, move from the point of fruitfulness to multiplication. And then from the point of multiplication, stretch yourself and spread across the earth. Because it is only when you spread that you can subdue. And when you begin to subdue, it reveals the real nature of dominion that I have, that I made you with. Amen. It was while I was studying that and praying that I saw something about somebody else. Hallelujah. So you are studying like that and God shows you something concerning your father. Shows you something concerning your mother. Shows you something concerning your husband. Shows you something concerning your wife. But what you were doing, you were studying for yourself. Amen. To, and why you were studying, then you save yourself and you save all those who are connected to you. Praise the living God. What are we saying in essence? Please maximize this second week that we have entered into. In case you have not been doing it right. Hallelujah. Listening to messages is part of it. Worship. We, even with um, audios and all that, videos anyhow. But what I'm saying is this. Ensure that in the midst of all this you are doing, let there be personal study. Personal. You open Bible by yourself. And God, as I open the scriptures, speak to me. Open the scriptures. And whatever comes to your heart as you are studying it, take your pen write it down in your book piece of paper is not advisable because it can easily get seen but you have a book you always see us with books i don't have just one or two jota i have jota so can write this one can be for writing this kind of thing this one for this kind of thing uh, so as it's coming you are writing you write and you meditate on it it might just be one verse that you'll be on throughout the day don't be in a rush you are not doing competition you are not going to say, meet anybody say, I finished one chapter of the Bible today. Hello? No, you are not doing competition. If God keeps with you on one verse, and it, you keep on it, and it seems not to finish, he keeps speaking, and you are praying, and you feel this is what God has for me. Stayed, he finishes what he has to do. Hallelujah. That is how to maximize the word. That's how to benefit from the word. Say finally tonight. When you study like this, listen, there is no wasted time. When you are studying like this, it's not just that you are writing it, it is recorded in your spirit. Amen. What we call our heart. There is a spiritual record there. Waiting for the day it will be needed. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I love the Holy Spirit. In John 14, verse 26. I will put that on the screen so that I will explain it together what I'm saying now. It's waiting for a day. 1426. Is 26? Am I correct? Yes. But the comforter, everybody say the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. When did I say to you when you were studying personally? The Holy Ghost assignment is to bring to remembrance what God has said. That's what happened in Genesis 1 1. The Bible said there was darkness, and you know that chapter 1. And the Spirit of God did what? It moved. And when the Spirit of God moved, God said, Let there be light. So the Spirit of God searched out the right word to produce light. So in the same way, when you are studying like that, you might think, this is what I'm studying now. It's on marriage. I'm not in marriage. What's that? It is there. You see, I'm studying now on a, a, a ministry. I'm not I'm doing any person. It is there. See, I'm studying now on love and care and all that. It's there. The day that the battle will come, the Spirit will move. And he will move and he will bring out the right, you know, the ash. The word of God is called the sword of the spirit. So the spirit of God will move and he will pick the right word that is already in your spirit that will confront the battle. 
And when he picks it out and you release it, it will come to your heart. How many of you have been in a situation before and you have prayed and a scripture you have read before, before came back to your heart with full force? You might not know where it is in the Bible exactly, but you know what he's saying. And by the time that word comes, it is God's revelation to you on how to fight that battle. If you release it, you will see. Amen. If you release it, you will see what? You will see sharp answer. But the spirit can only bring to your remembrance what is already in your spirit. Hello. What's already where? What's already where? That is what the spirit can be in your remembrance. And when do we put these things in our spirit, man, when we do our personal study, when we do our personal, when we do our personal from today, receive grace for personal study. Receive grace for personal study in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, please don't toil with personal study. Don't toil with it. You will save yourself and others. You will save yourself and others. Are you looking for how to save yourself? That's it. One time, somebody. The revelation came to somebody, or a dream came to somebody. Say they saw somebody, the enemy, the devil, die in an accident. They saw it twice. And that period, God was using me in setting people free from the spirit of death and all that. So I, I was angry because I wanted to travel at that point for a retreat, not to preach, just to have a time with God. So what I did within Lokoja, I went to an hotel. I left home, went to an hotel. I was there for 24 hours. Locked myself up in that hotel room for 24 hours, praying and talking to God. I said, Lord, what is the security? But because I'm just starting, what's the security that when you send me to villages, deep, places that are rural, places across the earth, you send me there to represent you? What is the guarantee that myself I am saved and that the people, my family, they are saved? The people connected to me are saved. And what is the key that people who are closer to me will not be victims of the same thing that God is using me to tackle outside? That was our spring. And God came to me, I think, twice close the night of the second day. And He told me, Go to the book of First Timothy and read from chapter one. I began from chapter one, I read, kept going, chapter two. Kept going. I finished the book of Timothy. By the time I got chapter 4, actually, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy was finished. But when I got to chapter 4 and I came to that place, I said, yes, that is what I'm saying. I say, if you give yourself wholly to my word, to prayers, to stand before me, and you continue in it, he said, there is no way that any devil will be able to strike you or strike anybody that is close to you and anyone you set out wherever you go to, to reach out to, they shall also be saved. So that day, I found that the key to the security of my life, and the security of my own family, and the security of everyone I minister to, is simple. Personal study. Rise upon your feet. Hallelujah. I said Hallelujah. How many of us from today you will profit maximally from the world? Let me see your hand. What was the key I gave us this morning? In the Lord, do I what? Praise His word. So, praise the word that is written. For Him saying it at all. Then praise the word that has already come to pass in your life. Because that means... The others that you have not yet seen, you will soon see it. Then praise his name for the word you expect to come to pass. Is that not sweet? And now tonight I said, personal study is the key to your salvation and the salvation of everyone connected to you. Lift up your hands and the only prayer we are praying this evening is, Lord, I receive the grace for... Let's start this way. Lord, I receive fresh appetite for the word of God. For the study of the world. For personal study. Lift up your voice and pray now. Fresh appetite. 
Somebody is praying. Father, I receive fresh appetite for the study of your word. I receive fresh, fresh, appetite, appetite, fresh appetite for the study of your word. I receive fresh appetite for the story of the Lord. I receive fresh appetite for the story of the Lord. I receive fresh appetite for Lord, I receive fresh appetite. Is somebody praying to me? Fresh appetite, O Lord, for the study of your word. Fresh appetite, fresh appetite to desire your word. To desire to study your word. To desire to study your word. I receive fresh. Maya lagada maya na ma. Ragada basana na ma. Rabada basana ma. Ekole na maya dele preduza la balada. Rabade gala bali na maya na ma na dia na la brade na ma na kazi na ma na ya. Ena ma la barada basala barada rabade gala bala bala. Rabada bala gana ma la barada bala bala bala. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Again, you are going to pray. It's possible to have appetite for something, but lack the discipline to go for it. You are going to lift up over and say, Father, I receive grace to discipline myself in the place of personal study, in the place of personal devotion. Lift up your voice and pray. Down. Father, I receive grace to discipline. Receive myself. that grace. Draw that in grace from heaven. Draw the study. grace. Grace in for personal study. Lama to give yourself. To give yourself to it. 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 Grace for personal study. Grace for personal study. Grace for personal study. Grace for personal study. Anana Namala Gada Pena Zunamala Balada Ebrahma Sana Mandala Bakana Mande Ramana Sana Mandala Ebrahma Sana Mandala Bakana Mande Ramana 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 Lord, I receive study. I receive that grace for personal study. to the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Finally, you're going to pray, Lord, from today. As I give myself to your word, especially in this year 2019 and beyond, let my profiting appear to all. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, in the name of as Jesus, I give as I to, give to personal study, beginning from this year 2019, let my profiting appear to all. Let my profit lift up your voice and pray now. Let my prophet in appear to all. Let my prophet in appear to all. Aha, aha, Baba la 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 Baba let my prophet in appear to the all. name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Listen to me. 
no matter the position you occupy in life, no matter where you are kept in life, when what you carry, your profiting becomes higher than the position you are occupying. A change of position will definitely take place. No matter where you are kept, when what is you are delivering, the, the profiting of your life is more than that position they gave you in that organization, in that position, anywhere at all. If there was no position before, they will create it for you. I tell you, nobody leaves a man who is operating beyond that position. Nobody leaves him there. Joseph was operating as a uh, from prison, but operating like a prime minister. He said, Not only is this the interpretation of the dream, let Pharaoh provide. He gave the solution. He said, Ah, you are in prison. No way. Position changes. Seven men were appointed as deacons in the book of Acts of the Apostle. The Bible said they were appointed to serve table, to serve communion, to share food. But when the oppression of Stephen and the oppression of Philip was beyond what they were given to do, they needed to change it. Amen. It was clear to everybody that these ones know. So they were moved from that place and given the right hand of fellowship to go and do ministry. So Philip was given the permission to go out. Stephen was given the permission to go out because his manifestation was beyond his position. So when you load yourself with the word of God consistently, your profiting appears to all. And when your profiting is beyond the position, then a promotion is a must. Lift up your hands to heaven. I want to speak to your life. By reason of your profit in this year, you will have several promotions in the name of Jesus. By reason of your profit in this year, positions that never existed will be created for your sake. Positions that never existed will be created for your sake. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I decree upon your life, receive the Lordness that Amen. will make you to be more profitable Amen. than the position you are occupying. Amen. The profiting that is beyond your status now. Amen. The profiting that is beyond your position now. Amen. The profiting that is beyond your opportunity now. Amen. I decree this year enter to that realm of profiting Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. when you are loaded you will be needed I speak into your life from today by reason of your loadedness, by reason of what you will carry. I decree you will be needed in high places. 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 Amen. Profiting is the key to favor. They saw that the house of Potiphar was being blessed, was profiting as a result of Joseph, they made him the general overseer of all the other slaves. I decree by the profitings of your life this year, you will enter into a realm of favor. Amen. Realm of favor. Amen. Realm of favor. Amen. Realms of favor. Amen. Realms of favor. Amen. Realms of favor. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bring up your prayer card and lift it up to heaven now. And I give you two minutes to speak to God. First of all, thank him for the ones he has started doing. And then begin to commit the others into his hand. Go ahead and do that. Oh, Jesus, 
Ladwan de Krabosi, la Blenoni, la Bretosa, mi andeli, rodo, sadada. Et à la produce animal, au robron de la Bledine, à la Bados, à la Bledine, à la Bados, à la Dada, à Are you speaking to God now? Somebody pray, 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 pray. One more minute, God is hearing your voice. Pray from the depth of your being. Pray from the depth of your being. Begin to thank him because he has answered. Go ahead, thank him. Thank him, thank him. He has answered our prayers. Thank him, he has answered our prayers. Thank him, he has answered our prayers. Thank him, he has answered our prayers. In the name of Jesus, I shall pray. Lift up your right hand, say from today, I will meditate upon the word day and night. I will give myself holy to the word and my profiting shall appear to all say it very loud and my profiting shall appear to all say it one more time and my profiting shall appear to all in the name of jesus i speak again this year 2019 Every question mark, you know, I said it at the beginning of the year. Every question mark in your life, whatever it is, people see that make them to question and say, Why are things going like this in your life negatively? Every question mark in your life shall be cleared off. Every question mark in your life shall be cleared off. Every question mark in your life shall be cleared off. People will not have reason to ask you where is your God. People will not have reason to ask you why are things happening like this for you. I decree that question back on your life in this year 2019. It is wiped off in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you take the communion tonight, you are praying one prayer. Two points in one. Number one, Lord, from this year, let my profiting appear to all. 
Number two, Lord, knock out every question mark in my life by this communion. Stretch off your hands and pray that prayer. Don't take your card yet. I've not yet made declarations on the card. I'm going to declare before you keep it. Ah! Masatabakatanas. I'm hearing a song in my spirit. A wonderful song. Metu Makagi. Eze. Metu Makagi. Eze. Metu Makagi. Meto makagi Eze Ekwe kwa laka Kandiro tuwa wila Ele Meto makagi Eze Ekwe kwa laka Please don't let me go the way I came today. Touch me with your hands, with your hands, with your hands. Oh Lord. Please don't let me go hey, hey. The way I came today Touch me with your hand Oh Lord I am going to my spirit Why should you pray and fast for 21 days? Why should you stop it? Why should you me to church every day and your story will still be the same as the story. No. You are going to lift up your voice with one more prayer and say, Father, by reason of my waiting upon you, in this year 2019, let the difference be clear. Lift up your voice and pray. Let the difference be clear. Let the difference be clear. Let the difference be clear. My life cannot remain the same. My ministry cannot remain the same. No, let the difference be clear. To all men and to all devils and to everyone, let the difference in my life be clear. Let nothing appear to all. You have not called the seed of Jacob to seek me, nor let my prophets in appear to all. Let the difference be clear. Guy, you cannot put me forward and remain with sickness like that. You cannot remain jobless after this season of prayer. Fasting. No, you cannot remain oppressed and afflicted after this kind of waiting on God. No, your marriage cannot be scattered after this kind of season. No, your career cannot be no stipend in this kind of season. Your academics cannot be in jeopardy after you waited on God like this. Father, let the difference in my life be clear. Let the difference be clear. Let the difference be clear. Let the difference be clear. Let my prophecy not appear to all. Let my prophecy not be hidden. Let it appear. Even my enemies, they will not be able to deny that my life is different this year. Even those that hate me, they will not be able to deny that my life is different this year. 
In Jesus mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Father, as your people take this communion, I ask, let the difference be clear. Amen. God, let the difference be clear. Amen. Let the difference be clear. Amen. I, this year, 2019. Amen. Pray this from the depth of the passion of my being for you, for your family, for anything about your life. This year, 2019, the difference will be clear. The difference will be clear. The difference will be clear. Your profiting will appear to all. Amen. Your profiting will appear to all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take the communion, praying in the Holy Ghost. We believe you have been heavily blessed by this life transforming word. For more information, contact 070 348 8984704 Or you can come here the word of God live at Restoration House at Akuzu Township Hall beside LGEA School Saburi 2 Day Day Abuja our services Wednesdays healing and deliverance service 5:30 p.m. Sundays breakthrough service 8:30 a.m. and signs and wonders night every first Friday of the month by 10:30 p.m. You can download our messages on Facebook, YouTube, for shared, Twitter at Hour of Restoration Ministries. Remain ever blessed.